it's September favorites. And what am I going to begin with? This brush. It's by e.l.f. and it's a kabuki brush and I love it. So I use this mainly, well not mainly, I do. I use it for bronzer. So I mush it around, I move it, you know, move it around, you know, tap it off and I put the bronzer on my cheeks and it puts on such a soft amount. And because the bristles are so soft, it really, um, you don't get those lines of definition. I mean, I still blend with uh, my blending brush, but for $4 and I don't know if it's 15 cents, 95 cents, it's a fabulous brush. In fact, I'm going to get one. I'm going to try using it on, um, on uh, blush. So I love this brush. And isn't it a great idea for a gift? I mean, $4.95 or something like that. It's fabulous. Uh, yeah, I love it. So I want to highly recommend this Kabuki brush, Elf Kabuki brush. Um, let's see. That's it. Elf Kabuki brush. More to come. Now, um, I'm going to give you an, I, you know, I'm going to do a Christmas, I'll do a Christmas list later on in the season. But there's something that you should be aware of because I'm afraid that Sephora will uh, run out of them. And there's a great gift. If you need to give a gift to some of your girlfriends, your teenagers, your next door neighbor, your anybody who wears mascara, Sephora has a gift set and they have about four or five mascaras in there. And so it gives you a chance to try all these different mascaras. And each time you start a new one, it's so exciting. Will I love this? Will I not love this? It's really fun and it's a great gift and everybody loves it because they haven't tried all those mascaras and it gives them an opportunity to try all the, all the different ones, see how they like them. So I'm going to suggest it now because I know last year they ran out of them when I tried to get them in December. My sister um, has a group of women that she shares gifts with and they weren't allowed to go over $30 and I told her about this and they had to wait till they got more in. So I'm just giving you a heads up. The um, mascara gift set from Sephora is a marvelous present and everybody loves it. I've used it. I've loved it. My sister loves it. We all, it's really a fun gift. So that's number two. I actually haven't counted the numbers of suggestions I'm giving you. And why am I doing this? Because I've got the list down here. Um, something else. I adore the great British baking show and they've got a new season. Season 10. It's on Netflix and I think it comes on every Friday. And I love it. If you haven't watched it, it's the most relaxing show on television. I fall asleep every time I watch it and I have to rewind it because I always miss the last, uh, the last challenge because I fall asleep. I'm so relaxed. It's so enjoyable. Do I make any of them? No, I'm a really good baker, but I don't make what they make. I don't know how they do it, but it's a fabulous show. And it's, it's, um, as I say, it's very relaxing. I love it. So it's on Netflix, the great British baking show. Um, what's the next one? There's another one. I was watching, Ina Garten has a new show on now and I don't know the name of it. I can't remember the name of it, but she invites guests on and she invited this guest on and her name is Erin uh, French and she's the chef of a restaurant in Maine called uh, The Lost Kitchen and it's so popular people have to send in postcards and then they draw the postcards and th those are the people who get to eat at the restaurant. I think it's, I don't think it's open, uh, I think it's maybe open five months a year. It's a wonderful show and you're going to ask me which station it's on. My husband just rearranged all of the stations and who we subscribe to. I'll let you know, I think it's on Netflix. But I'll let you know, but it's called The Lost Restaurant. And in fact, I was so impressed by this chef that I read her life story or biography. And I watched her on Ina Garten and I read her biography and I've been, she's a wonderful chef. It's a wonderful show. It's another one to watch. I don't fall asleep on that one, but 
It's a wonderful show, The Lost Restaurant. Then my son was visiting me. In fact, that's why I, I haven't made a, a video in the past couple of weeks because my daughter was visiting and then my son was visiting, but I want to be with them. And so I didn't make any videos, but my son brought along a game and it's called Quirkle. And it's a little bit like um, dominoes in Technicolor. It is so much fun and it's a great family game. I beat my son once and he beat my, me once. And let's see, when we p played with three of us, oh, his husband won. So all of us have, have won, but it's a f really fun, very easy. It's, it's matching, it's color, it's color tiles and matching them or um, having, um, you know, what do you call them? Runs, easy, you can learn it very quickly. And if you have grandchildren, it's a great gift or it's a great gift to have at home to play with them. So the next time my grandkids come, I'll, uh, I'm gonna play with them. It's really fun. When my daughter comes, I'll play with her also. Um, okay, so that's Quirkle. Uh, next, um, so there was a day and there's, there was a shelf, there's more than one shelf, that needed to be organized. It was just, it, it, it had so much stuff in it. it you know, t-shirts, uh, pants, t-shirts, more t-shirts and more t-shirts. So I was in the mood, don't ask me why, but I was in the mood to organize. I took that one shelf, it was just one, but I took that one shelf and I went through all of the t-shirts, all of the top tops, and I gave away, I'd say, at least two big bags of t-shirts that didn't fit, that didn't look good. And then I mentioned it to a friend of mine who's an organizer. Um, uh, and she told me a great thing because I said, you know, I didn't organize this the way, um, you know, the condo method. I just did it my own way, which was, I took everything out, but then I, I did it in an organized may, way. And she said, you know, what did she say? What is the quote? Um, Done is better than perfect. So I want you to remember that when you start organizing. So done is better than perfect. I'm going to do another shelf. I haven't gotten the guts up to do it because the, the shelves are big, but I've got another shelf. And um, just remember, done is better than perfect. And I think you kind of have to be in the mood. I know with Marie Kondo, she takes everything out. I can't do that. I would, it, it would it overwhelm me. But if you take one shelf, you can do it. Done is better than perfect. Okay, uh, the next, um, a book for you to read. Have you read Maisie Dobbs? I so enjoy, enjoy it. I've forgotten who the author is, but the book, the books are called, there is a whole series called Maisie Dobbs, and she's a very interesting, unique detective. I love the books. I've, I've read, I've read way too many of them, but, um, start with the, the first one, Maisie Dobbs. I'll list it. You know, you know about Show More, don't you? Um, underneath the description of the, the, of the YouTube video, there's a line that says Show More. You click on that, and, but below that, you'll see the, the, the you'll see the, all of the, the thing, you'll see the list of items that I met, mentioned. Some of them are, um, you know, links so that you, if you press on them, you go to the product and you can buy it. Uh, and it gives you, I'll give you the title and how to buy Maisie Dobbs. It's really good series, really interesting. So I highly recommend Maisie Dobbs. Um, let's see. Then I thought you'd get a big kick. I think we're going to, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Um, here it is. So I think we're gonna have a group of listings called Bob's Picks. My husband is very organized. He's got it together as opposed to me. And this is the way he keeps his toothpaste all rolled up. He uses one of these binder clips. They're fabulous. And so that's what I do now. So I roll it up from the bottom, you know, squeeze it, put a binder clip on, and it always looks neat and tidy and you always get the most toothpaste. So this is one of, do I have it upside down? I do. So this is one of Bob's, Bob's picks. And these are binder clips. And I think that these are, you know, these are kind of strong ones. And in fact, I've seen um, somebody was suggesting using them even on potato chips, you know, things you have to keep uh, clipped together. It's a very inexpensive way to um, 
keep things, uh, you know, clipped together. So I'm loving these binder clips. Highly, highly recommend binder clips. And there's another thing my husband recommends. So our dryer, the, the lint filter was dying. And my husband looked it up and, uh, at Sears and the cost of a new lint filter, you're not, not gonna believe this, a new lint filter that's made out of plastic and that's falling apart is $74. $74. So he started looking around, went on Amazon, found this one, which is better. Look at this. That is much better. And see how it's got the, the strengthening thing thing in the in the middle. And it's it's much it's made much more sturdier. Is that a word? Much more sturdier? I don't know. Anyway, he loves this. It's got um, metal mesh as opposed to plastic mesh. And this is loose and loosey goosey, and this is very tight and all together. And this one is um, thirteen dollars. So if you need a new, I, I know you think that I'm going to talk all about beauty, but there's more to life than just beauty. And one of them is a um, a dryer vent screen. So just you know, little tip of the day. This is um, I'll, again, I'll list it down below. How do you like that? My husband was so excited when he got this. He thought this was just the cat's meow. Okay, uh, next, let's see what I've got here. I love Dermalogica. I think that they've got uh, really excellent products. And this is, um, this is a daily micro, a daily micro foliant. So you, you, what do you think? You take the top off, and you put, you just take some, put some powder on your hand, uh, then put some um, water and you, and it's very gentle. I've got really sensitive skin, but this is an excellent um, um, exfoliation. And I, I love uh, Dermalogica, Dermalogica products. So I keep this in my shower all the time and uh, use this. They say you can use it daily. To be honest, I use it maybe twice a week I'm, because I'm concerned about my skin. Um, highly recommend Dermalogica ex Micro, Daily Micro Foliant. Then, a lot of you have been asking me about my hair and how, it, it, so I'm gonna ask you a question. Would you like me to do a video about how I take care of my hair? If you would, would you let me know? You know, I'm gonna ask you something else. With YouTube, the, the algorithm wants you to focus on one thing, such as with me, it would be makeup. But I'm more than makeup. I would, I would also like to do some cooking videos. Would you let me know if you're interested in cooking videos, if you're interested in clothes videos, if you're interested in, well, in other videos, not just uh, makeup, but other videos. Let me know. So if you'd like me to, I'll do a thing on, um, I'll do a video on hair. So I've got all of these products. I've got products up the kazoo. But the last time I went to have my hair cut, you know, I get it done by um, um, Nick, Nick, Nicholas Flores. And he, he, I, I was really paying attention. And he just uses one product on my hair after it's washed. And it's this Shu Amura, and it's called Shiki Worker Blow Dry Serum uh, Multi-Benefit Primer Silky Finish. And it has a top. I've lost the top. But this is, after I take a shower and wash my hair, this is the only thing I've been using lately. I don't, that that's all. Well, oh, I use a cream. I'll show you that in another one, um, you know, to kind of flatten my hair down a little. Um, but this is the Shu Amora Art of Hair. Um, I just use this. It's amazing. And that's what all he uses. So I thought you'd like to know about this. Another good, really good pro product. Let me see. Um, um, oh, I forgot to bring my little piggy in. Um, I've got a little piggy and I use it for bacon. And it's a little red 
uh, what's it made out of? I think it's maybe rubber, silicone, and it's a little red piggy. Whenever I make bacon, I take the bacon grease and I pour it into the little piggy, and then after the after after it gets filled up, then I scoop it all out, put it into aluminum foil, and throw it away. Uh, let's see if there's some more. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, oh, I do have one more. I told you about the New York Times. Well, the New York Times has a, a game app where you can play Wordle, uh, a mini uh, a mini crossword puzzle. I don't do the big crossword puzzle because I think that I would be spending the whole day working on the big one. But I do the mini crossword and that one seems to be okay. And let's see, Wordle and uh, uh, the spelling one. And so that that's three games and it kind of satisfy my need to play games. So it's an app and it's called New York Times Game App or something like that. I'll, I'll list it again down below. Uh, so I, th oh, I'm going to have to stop this because I've got something else. I'll be right back. I'm back. Okay. So here's the piggy. So this is the piggy that I use. And this piggy, I put, let's see what I've got in here. I've got bacon in there. I do have bacon grease. Yuck. But I have bacon grease. And so when I'm, you know, cooking bacon, I drain it and I put it into my little piggy. It's great fun. I love it. And then this is, this is a computer keyboard cleaner. So it sucks up, it sucks up all the dust and dirt on your keyboard, but it does more. I've been using it. I've got one drawer where I keep, um, uh, cereals and I put this so you can clean up all those little dusty little things that are hard to clean up I put it with uh, where I've got my vitamins it gets really dirty uh, I had uh, this computer box I cleaned it up so this is like a tiny little mini vacuum it's fabulous I love it so thank you for watching uh, if you if you are if you're interested in me um, uh, having videos on, again, on my hair, on cooking, on, I don't know, kind of travel, on things in the city. Let me know. Oops, I forgot. Amazon is having a sale on their Kindles. And this one is the Paper White 11th generation. And I got it with 16 gigabytes of storage. It comes with, I think, eight, but I think for $10 more, you get 16 gigabytes. I mean, who can resist that? I got tons of books right now. I didn't realize it, but I've got like 750 books on my um, my old Kindle. And what I like about this is it seems to be faster. Um, the light is softer. It's got a more of a warm light, so it's easier on the eyes. Um, I'm loving it. I just started using this one last night, so I'm very excited. My Kindle that I've had is something like seven or eight years old and my niece Cam gave it to me which was a fabulous gift and um, but now it's time to you know change I'm excited so just wanted to let you know if you're interested in getting a Kindle uh, again for the holidays for not the holidays just for you it's a good deal thank you very much oh remember to subscribe remember to hit the, uh, the thumbs up button what this does is that it tells um, it tells YouTube there are people interested in what Sandra has to say. So if you, you know, press the um, up button, you know, the, you know, you approve of it and uh, subscribe and tell your friends, share it. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's fun being with you.